I'm very happy to talk about hip hop today because I believe it's where I've really heard people sit down and emphasize on expressing themselves. Hip hop ni jana ya banyarwanda ishoka kwiri no muri DNA yacu kuko yurebye umuziki w'abanyarwanda wa kera kera bivuga kera bavuza ingoma bitubona ko ari yo rap y'iki gihe ahubwo dushobora gusanga abanyamerika baraye twibye abanyamerika bashobora kuba baraye twibye total kuko ibyivugo by'abanyarwanda byari biri hejo so if you talk to real MC, people who've been studying hip hop, you understand hip hop, you understand the origin of hip hop, they're always going to tell you it goes back to the storytelling. It goes back to the art of storytelling on the beat. It goes back to the origin of music. And everybody says that the origin of music, all the music are born in Africa. So now, if you think of Ingoma and the beat, and if you think of Kwivuga, what is Kwivuga? is the art of telling stories, it's the braggadocio, is is the role of certain people to talk about the exploit, the, you know, the, 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 what they've done, what they achieve, how they achieve it, is the art of you know the eloquency to be able to put words into action, stories, behavior, um, and to transmit that. It's part of the oral tradition um, that's been there for decades. It is a very male dominated uh, genre, hip hop, but the women that were also there from Queen Latifah to EVE, they really took time to go in the writing. And that's something that made me feel powerful. Like every time when I have to go through a rough day, I'll just play Unity, I'll just play their songs and something, an energy will rise in me. Think beats me to another flow, flow. Every time I hear a brother call a girl a bitch or a hoe. So I'm Anderson, I'm a singer and songwriter and a curator. I joined curating very recently, uh, last year actually. And I love everything that has to do with lyrics and expressing yourself. I'm 26. It's important for me to say that because that means I'm experiencing seeing random hip hop rise and grow up. When we were young, I remember seeing hip hop singers from J Police to the Bulldogs that would dress like the Nellies, the bad boys of the time. And for us, because there were very few of them that were doing it, we loved what they were doing. But something interesting that they had brought in, they were speaking or singing in Kinyaranga. So that was a new thing. But then I would sit with my dad, I remember, and he would listen and he'd say, what are they saying? I can hear it's Kiranda, but I can't really hear what are they saying. So their impact on us, in my opinion, was very strong in terms of showing us, even if this is not a genre that was born here, it's possible for a Rwandan to put their intake on it, to put their fusion on it. It kept going and then my generation came in and we mostly wrote in English. Snuckin' like boo, been a ghost is true. About to hit the news, so you better stay tuned. I'll be getting real loose, stay chillin' with the crew. Don't give a F about you, ain't nobody care about you. Ooh. Say no more, I'm the heat. Where I ride on the beat, moto moto. Say he like my thighs on the seat. They lookin' real sweet. Hip hop is, is it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's urban culture. So it's an urban culture that was born into the inner cities of, uh, of New York, America. And uh, at the time, like late 70s, early 80s, um, we, were really, um, we were really inspired by our, our cousin, black American, African American. We were really, as, as a young black African kids living in Belgium, we were really looking um, into what was going on in America and uh, you know associate ourselves with it. So when hip hop started like making noise um, in the late 
yeah, in the late 70s, early 80s, you know, we, we, were, we were really into it. So, you know, maybe like, you know, 85, when I was like 15, 16 years old, I started like, you know, break dancing, uh, break dancing and knowing about rap, about the culture. Hip hop, you know, people need to understand that, you know, hip hop is a, is a whole, is a whole social movement and um, it, it, it has like five pillars, five different elements. So there's the emceeing and the DJing, and there's the dancing, b-boying, there's uh, the graffiti, the visual art, and there's the knowledge. So that whole movement was really appealing. So that's when, I, you know, with some of our friends, we're doing like competition, we're doing break dancing, we, everything that America was doing, we were trying to do the same thing. And uh, that's how that got me into the, the hip hop culture. And, uh, and I was really fascinated by the DJing aspect, which was like the, the, the pilot, the main pilot of the whole movement. <laughs> Amazina yanjye banyitanga mu nziza Dominique barabo benshi banzi ku izina rya Dr Nganji Dr Nganji niryo zina nkoresha mu mwoga wanjye wo gukora umuziki gukora umuziki ndavuga mu rurimi rwa mahanga audio producer nibyo nikorera hano muri Green Film Music ya Green Film Music yatangiye mu bibombi bibiri na 17 biri professional eh ikora indirimbo zose kuko abahanzi tumaze gukorana tumaze gukorana n'abahanzi benshi cyane bajya kugera mu ijana abanyamuziki bagera mu ijana kurenga rero ni ni inzu y'umuziki ukorana n'abanyamuziki cyane cyane ariko tukaba twaramenyekanye cyane ku njyana ya Kenya Trap abantu benshi bamenye mu gihugu cyane Kenya Trap dukoresha cyane rap muri iyo njyana ya Kenya trap ariko bitavuze yuko na dance idashobora kozamo tavuze ko DJ na wadashobora kuyikoresha iyo njyana rero Kenya trap ni nimwe mu murerema za za hip hop hip hop keeps growing just as jazz grows and classic music grows hip hop grows so there is trap there is drill those are other subs of hip hop that have been growing and they sound different to the ear. They're not that different, but they are different again. So you find that the conversation then became a bit different, you know, and this is not only in Rwanda, everywhere in the world where you would find the 50 cents being like, those kids who sing trap, they all sound the same, but they don't sound the same. It's just a, a genre growing. Kenya Trap yarenze kuba twari turi muri studio turimo kwikorera bintu byakorerwa haga hano muri studio ako byarenze kuba byari hano muri studio biba ibintu by'abanyagihugu ibintu by'abantu bya by'urubyiruko yari movement nicyo kintu kiza cya nabonye muri Kenya Trap nagize amahirwe yo kubona some archives batanze muri museum numva indirimbo za z'abantu bakera mu myaka ya yo muri za 1950 1940 gutyo z'abanyarwanda bo umva cha nashaka gufata nk'indirimbo nka nka kora beat y'iki gihe nafata nibyo yaririmbaga ukahita wumva umushize muri no beat y'iki gihe witomba ari rap arimo flowing up bitewe bwo bahubwo birenze nyine no muri rapper tutigeze tubona as a hold hip hop heads for example you know we learn so many things because of the, the music because the way we traveling to the, the industry so when young people are coming today and uh, because of social media, they can see what's going on in other cities and they want to emulate, they want to dress like them, they want to have the same attitude, uh, they want to, to express themselves in the same way. It's very important for hip hop to be authentic and the authenticity comes from the roots and to be really attached to the foundation of your own tradition. It's your own hip hop, nacho kintu tugomba kudiscoveringa cyane tukagishiramo ingufu tugashiramo ingufu mu muziki wacu hip hop niyo yacu I remember the first time I really really heard a woman singing hip hop and I reflected it as hip hop because I've said hip hop comes in different genres was for me uh, Angel Mutoni she was a young girl she looked my age she was on stage alone 
giving bars like non-stop and at the time she was also adding in kinyaranda words which is something i'm very passionate about the fusion part of things there are not many i will not say they are but if you even look at music in general in rwanda women were not as many as you would think but in hip-hop then there came malaika who you find come from poetry and then slowly dive into hip-hop hey mama Lately I've been feeling the weight of my black skin. It is beautiful black skin. But like stones, it is crushing my bones. It is squeezing my heart. It is squeezing my brain. It's really not easy to find a female who just does hip hop. But there are some quite controversial some of them like Nessa who for me as someone who understands and respects hip-hop she really shows another side that we may not be comfortable accepting but it is there so hip-hop is growing but on women we still need to have bigger numbers future ya kenya trap no kuisori jehogo ikaja hanze kandi kawa na general the Nivka General Nikawa Indiana is is we for Kugago Mozamang. Could you mona Zayavo at a king a trap? It's a king a trap. Riaban Babi Men. The hip hop of America is not the same as the hip hop of France. The hip hop of France is not the same hip hop as the hip hop of, of South, Af South Africa. It's not the same hip hop as the hip hop that one than people should do. You know, the subject matter is different. So that's what I wanted to have like that kind of dialogue. I think is interesting. Uh, to have the dialogue between the generation because we have knowledge that can help the young generation to propel themselves forward and help to create that multi-billion dollar industry. But if we start having little conflict, little petty discussion about you know who's rapping the best and I don't like the old guys and the young guys, the, the old guys are saying uh, we don't like the young people, we don't like what they do. Uh, you know, I don't think I think it's like a, a path that we should avoid and go towards more positivity and uh, an empowerment and elevation of, of the movement. I find hard to change people's minds. This is what I can say to young people. Don't stop. When hip hop came 40, 50 years ago, many people had a lot of things to say about it. But something very interesting, when jazz came, classic musicians couldn't hear a thing about it. They're doing it wrong. They're just playing without caring about the theories and they're just so it's a normal thing to have people fight a new genre that is coming but for me what i need young artists to understand who are interested and young people who are interested in digesting hip-hop it's much more than what you're seeing on tv it's something you really need to understand its roots what's the purpose of it what what is it trying to tell me that i think is what i can tell young people get more educated on what hip hop represents and what is the true roots of it because then you will respect you will really respect hip hop is the space where young people have to listen but also know what they're listening learn it's not just about the jewelry it's about the business it's about the growth it's about healing it's about therapy and that's what for me hip hop really brings on the table Thank you.